Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Machining with Joe. A channel where I share with you guys my journey as a beginner machinist. So, not going to be doing actually that much machining today. It's more of an update video for you guys, just so you know I've not completely disappeared from YouTube. Well, four weeks ago I had a baby, and yeah, like everyone says, that absolutely changes everything. I've been really struggling to get out in the workshop as much as I was, so as a result, you guys haven't been seeing weekly videos. But, moving forward, there's a few things that we're going to be doing here in the channel, and I just want to let you guys know exactly what those are. So, for starters, projects. I recently put up a community tab where I asked your guys' opinions and said, look, what do you think I should be doing here on the channel? I think the options were, it was a Stewart engine, a uh, rotary broaching tool, and a mini mill. Well, I've not ignored your advice on who voted what. I'm going to be doing all those things this year, so don't worry if you voted for something and you're not seeing it just yet, because all that stuff will be getting done this year. But, for starters, whoop. We're starting off with the Stuart S50 model. Just because I thought the S50 model was a really good way of experiencing all the tools around the workshop, learning some new techniques, and also having a fiddle around with imperial measurements because here in the UK, because of my age and everything, I've been brought up on the metric system. So I don't really use imperial, so it's gonna be interesting converting this stuff over. I have, however, I've already got the rotary broaching tool, so I found a Hemingway's kit, really cheap, and it looks like there's some good instructions in there. So, as for the rotary broaching tool, that will be getting done also this year. And as well as that, the mini mill that I spoke about, I'm yet to design that on CAD, just because the way things are moving in the channel, I'm really liking the aspect of designing it on CAD, doing my technical drawings, and trying to build things to those technical drawings. So, they are the three big projects you're going to be seeing in the channel this year. Other than that, in the next few months I'm looking to move. So, as a result of me moving, this workshop you won't be seeing anymore. But, exciting news, I'm looking to expand the workshop. So, right now, we've got about five metres this way and about three meters, just under three meters width. Well, the new workshop, I wanna be around four meters squared, so a 16 meter squared footings, which is gonna give the workshop a really different feel, because at the minute, it's sort of long and thin, and we're gonna be moving into like a square shape, and I'd really like to get an island in the middle of that for doing any filming or assembly work. So that's the future for that. I think today, because I don't just want to waffle on, I think what we're going to do, I'm going to show you guys the S50 kit that I've bought. We're going to unbox it and talk through the pieces in there. And then I think that'll probably wrap up today's video. I just wanted to give you guys basically a summary of what's going on this year. And just to let you know, I'm still here, still YouTubing. So let's head over to the bench like we always do and check this kit out. Right then, this is the Stuart model S50 and part number, if you're thinking of ordering one of these, is 34-50-71315. So I'll leave a link in the description if anyone's thinking about building one of these kits themselves. Maybe you can watch this set of series of videos and keep along with it. So, I have already opened this and had a little glance inside. So. Here we've got what's going to be our Bible for the next few months while doing this kit. In here we've got an exploded parts diagram of what we're going to be building. And if we open this up, we have loads. So this is the exploded parts diagram put down into technical drawings. And this is what we're going to have to follow to build this thing and make it compatible and working. So over the next few months when we're doing videos on this, this is going to be almost like our Bible. So we're going to be taking close attention to that as we go. 
So, right. In here we've got our sort of raw stock material. And over in this pack we've got our castings. So if I quickly slash all this open, get this out into pieces, and we'll sort of have a look and see if we can see any obvious parts that we're going to be machining. Obviously these are going to be pretty obvious, but these parts we're going to have to sort of decipher from the list of exploded diagram pieces. As you can see then, we've got a lot of parts that we're dealing with here. And I've got to admit to you guys, I'm a complete novice when it comes to this. I've never really looked into steam engines, especially a model S50 Stuart steam engine. So I don't really have a clue what I'm doing in this build series. But I think that's gonna make it more interesting because I'm a lot like a lot of you guys that watch this channel. A bit of a beginner, a bit of a home hobbyist, want to get stuck in. So for me, if I can get this model steam engine working, any of you guys watching can also do the same. So it's going to be a learning curve for me and for you guys watching. Because my background is motor trade, so I'm pretty handy with an engine. I'm hoping where these are so old, they're going to be really simple. But I'm not too sure on how the tolerances are going to be how tight things have got to fit together. So over the next few weeks and months, it's gonna be a really interesting experience building this. So I'm probably gonna end the video there today then guys. I want to start fresh on this build series. So I've let you guys into what's going on in the channel. And don't get me wrong, we're not just gonna be doing this over the next few months. I'm gonna be mixing it up. So there might be a few weeks where you see me building this and then we'll jump onto another project because I've got a lot of little projects here in the workshop that I want to get done. So yeah, it's going to be an exciting time. Other than that, that about sums up today's video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for continuing to support the channel. If you're feeling really generous, I've set up a Patreons page. So please head over to there, check it out. I'll be releasing weekly technical drawings of stuff I've built around in the workshop. And I'm thinking about setting up a little store where you can basically go out, you can buy the technical drawings, I'll supply all the material, and you guys can start to build stuff that I build here in the workshop, and use the videos like a little bit of a tutorial. So, if any of you feel generous enough to do that, please head over, link is in the description, and also on the channel page. Thank you for watching guys, see you next time, happy machining.